<laughs> what up, what up? That's my boy Derek over here. Van Honks, Pike 10.0. Okay, so let me talk about this Van Honks, man. Last time we took it out to the marsh. Y'all saw that we took it out to the marsh. Well, I damaged one of these plastic locks on the old box. Well, I contacted Van Honks and they sent me a whole brand new drive box for free. Under warranty, baby. Got the latest gen technology right here. We're gonna go give it a shot. I forgot my battery for my Garmin today, so we're not running no fish finder. Just fine, because I already know you see that bird standing up over there. It's inches to about three to four feet in there. So, it's a beautiful morning. We're gonna hit it. All right, I got another one. This one's a little sand trout. Or no, it's a speckle. All right, we're in the speckle trout right now. I'd be throwing lures normally right now, but my bait caster gummed up on me. Um, well, bird nested. I have way too much string on there. So I'm throwing live shrimp. And it's seeming to do the work for me. Anyways, GoPro, stop recording. There we go. I think we're in the trout hole right now. Oh, that's a better one. Slamming these. Oh, man, I got that dude kind of barely weird here, weirded on there. Let's see. Here we go. Get you off there, bud. Damn, circle hooks are a monster. Well, these are octopus hooks. There. See you later, dude. GoPro, stop recording. Heading over to where these ducks are hunting and catching little bait fish. I have a feeling we might have a successful hookup rate if we come out here. I'll get back to you guys. All right, we're on to another one. Looks like it's gonna be a trout kind of day out here. Yep. Yes, sir, all day long catching these guys right here. And I don't mind. And he still left me the shrimp in good condition so I can re-throw him out there. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. It's such a pretty fish. Bro, if you don't mind catching speckled trout, they're all right here. I'm on the trout right now. I just pulled out like my fifth one. GoPro, stop recording. The new fin system. Plug and play. I'm loving that. Absolutely draining out of here. Anyways, I cannot uh, use my fins until I get past this little sandbar over here. So all I'm doing is walk in the kayak. Crystal clear water out here today. Beautiful day. You know, it doesn't hurt to try the ins and outs of these uh, natural drains either. Hooked onto a tiny little thing out here. What well, feels so tiny on this 6,000, man. Oh, man, what do we got? A little baby red, it feels like. Oh, it's a speckler. All right, we'll take it. Look at that, that's a pretty one. Hey! Speckle! And he's off. I wasn't gonna keep him anyways. But now I know where they're at. 
And my shrimp is still good. <laughs> Did get me another one? GoPro, stop recording. On this entire time, on the popping cork, to another black drum. I must have drifted right through a school of them. Check it out, dude, hey! Yeah. There's a school right here. This guy appears to be a little too little. Sorry about this, bud. But hey. Thank you for the bite. GoPro, stop recording. All right, we may have caught something. I really can't tell on this one. Oh yeah. First fish on the pen spin fisher. All right. I've been waiting for this one to hit. And it appears to be a damn hardhead. Sucker. Oh no. It's about a keeper size drum. You got a tape measure with you? Uh, all right, we'll measure them when we get to the truck. All right, so the Van Hunks Pike 10.0. We came out here to fish a little deeper channel, hoping this cold water was gonna pay off. That's not the ticket. We're gonna go back out in there and uh, go hunt for some more trout, maybe catch some reds. Um, the drop box, like I said. Van Hunks was good enough to put one of these in the mail and send it directly over to me. Now I have it installed with a rubber facing me, you know, on YouTube, everybody's saying yeah, that's in reverse or whatever, but for me, so far, not one issue with a drive box installed in such a manner. Okay, um, a lot of cargo space for a 10 footer, very stable. I'm able to stand up on it, cast off of it. Um, I have no complaints, you know, I went from a 13 footer to this and you know, I'm gonna be out here a lot more on my kayaks now. That 13 footer was a pain in the ass to load and unload. So this 10 footer is uh, serving me much better. And I cannot get over this uh, pedal drive fin system. I mean, shit, what more can you ask for? We're building a dream out here. But today I forgot my battery for my Garmin. I wanted to come out here and map all this area out. You know, I fish here a lot, a lot, lot. And I wanted to see the contours of the floor out here and just see exactly where they might be holding up at. But there's always next weekend. Well, we wait. <laughs> yeah, so we wait and we hydrate and we're about to leave this area. You can see the tide running out, man. It's dropping out real shallow in here. So these natural cuts that are in here will be hopefully holding up and they'll be schooled up in there We'll just sit up on the edge of the, the sandbars and pitch off into there and hopefully it's easy pickings. That's the plan. Adios.